Sagittarius, what's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Onward, professionally known as DJ Onward himself, and I do have an Instagram if you want to check it out. But if not, it's cool. That's not the reason we're here today, right, Sag? Today we're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, and see what you got coming in for you in the near future. Keep in mind, not everything here is going to resonate with you, so if you hear something that doesn't sound like it's your story, there's a good chance it's not. Go ahead and leave that behind. This is for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Placements. Let's see what we got. First, let's start off with the uh, Angel Oracles. Set the tone. Sagittarius, how you doing? You look good. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the best or the highest energy of all. And I'll pull one more. This could be the one. You've already read the you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So let me set those. We got the tone. That's from the Angel Oracles deck. Let's see what we got here. Please bring me clear and accurate messages for Sagittarius for the collective Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements. Let me reposition my camera. There we go. Is that better? All right. Please give me clear and accurate messages for Sag. All right, we got a jumper. We got a few. All right, so. Overall energy, Knight of Swords. Fast action, charging in, rushing in. So the situation here, Sag, it looks like you're uh, indecision. It looks like you're juggling. One option, one option. One choice, one choice. This is indecision. Could be confusion. Could be you needing balance. The challenge is there's something that you're waiting for. You're waiting for, you could be waiting for some type of assistance or just waiting for something that you feel is yours to come in. The reason it's all happening is because there's something that you're wanting to work on. You could be building towards. This could also be turning a, a, a hobby into a career. However, this is a love reading, and I feel like there's something that you're wanting to work on. Possibly this thing that you're waiting on. In the recent past, it looks like there was blocked communication. Possibly communication that had come to an end with the Eight of Wands in reverse. In the upright, this speaks of fast communication. This could be, uh, uh, it's not snail mail. This is more like text messages, DMs, emails. In the reverse, this is blocked. This is no communication, blocked communication, possibly stopped communication. Your conscious goal, Sagittarius, you're trying to figure out. You're trying to figure something out. You're trying to figure out if what you're looking at is an illusion or you could just have choices. You could be uh, trying to figure out which one you want to choose out of these options. Now, look, this is saying the same thing, juggling. So this whole uh, reading thus far speaks of indecision. But you're hoping to make a choice here. What's coming in for you that you're unaware of? The Herald Finn, this looks like a commitment. The Herofin loves the uh, commitments. Um, this speaks of agreements, uh, structure, any type of structure, contracts. In your current attitude right now, it looks like you've already made a decision, Sagittarius. You've made a decision. Now you're trying to choose how to act on this decision that you've made based on the decision that you've made. Just wanted to take action, wanted to move forward. external to you in your environment you got the king of cups and the king of cups he's very emotionally stable he wears his heart on his sleeves he's not afraid to show his emotions he's a nice guy in your hopes and fears you're hoping for a turning point here with the wheel of fortune you're hoping for a new cycle ending of old karma a brand new clean slate and any potential outcome 
looks like there's going to be some i'm going to come back to that i thought i was going to give it away so let's take a look at your recent pass you got the eight of wands in reverse something about the eight of wands in reverse the sagittarius please Something about the eight of wands reverse so there's something that you're holding on to sag that you're unwilling to let go of or unable to let go with the four of pentacles possibly somebody stopped communicating with you or you stopped communicating with someone i feel like this is someone that who has stopped communicating with you possibly could have blocked you but you're holding on to this talking about the four of pentacles with sag holding on to too many cards what is sag holding on to talk about the four of pentacles please yeah so whatever this situation is it looks like you're holding on to it. You're keeping yourself in a situation that you know doesn't serve you. Self-imposed imprisonment. Now, this was in the recent past. Uh, so this could, you could be out of that energy already, especially with the Eight of Swords in the upright. That's releasing yourself. So possibly you could be trying to release yourself from a situation that you've been holding on to. Possibly you stopped communication with someone. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles, please. About the two of pentacles. So look, in regards to what I was just saying about balance, something needing balance, you got the two of pentacles clarified by the six of pentacles in reverse. Six of pentacles in reverse, this speaks of balance, equal give and take. In the reverse, something is out of balance. This is you keeping it out of balance, Sag. You could be feeling like someone that you're dealing with is given to two different connections or you could be given to two different connections. It's gonna resonate every, different with everyone. Mind you, this is a general reading and it's not specific to just one person. Uh, tell me about the Three of Wands. What is Sagittarius waiting for? Please bring me clear and accurate messages. What is Sagittarius waiting for? You're waiting for your new cycle. You're waiting for your clean slate, your fresh start, you're waiting to, it looks like you've already closed out a chapter. It looks like you're waiting for your fresh start. Do I have a shadow here? All right, I'm trying to keep right here. So it looks like you're waiting for a brand new start, your new beginning. Talking about, talking about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Talking about the Eight of Pentacles for the reason why it's all happening. So the reason it's all happening, this looks, it looks like you're letting go of sadness and regret, possibly from um, possibly a past connection. Looks like you're coming out of there. You're getting back to yourself and you're putting in the work. It looks like you're doing the needed work in order to get to this new cycle. Or to bring this new cycle in, this uh, fresh start. It looks like you're doing the work needed. And that starts with letting go of the past, letting go of the sorrow and regret. Tell me about the Two of Wands for Sagittarius' current attitude. Two of Wands. So you freed yourself from, this looks like a codependency, a codependent situation that you were in. Something that was keeping you stuck and bound uh, to, looks like you freed yourself from that. So in the recent past, you were freeing yourself and it looks like by blocking this communication, whatever this communication was, it looks like it's led to you actually freeing yourself from a toxic situation. And now you're waiting just to move forward. You're waiting to take action and move forward with yourself, with your life. But there's still guidance needed. There's still a shore. It's, it's like you walk up to the path. You walk up to the fork in the road. After making a decision, I know that I don't want to be where I'm at. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to walk to this fork of the road. But now that I'm here, which way do I go? That's the energy that you're in. Tell me about the uh, devil in reverse. Why is the devil in reverse? What is this toxic situation? So you had a breakthrough, Sag. You had a breakthrough, Ace of Swords in reverse. You had a breakthrough. You found out some things possibly you didn't uh, want to know necessarily. You did know, you did want to know until you found out. And then once you found out, you were like, uh, I was better off not knowing that. Somebody could possibly could have been um, dishonest with you or brought you some type of lies, which gave you clarity that enabled you to free yourself. You discovered something, Sag. 
something came to light. Tell me about the King of Cups for external energy for Sagittarius, please. What is this King of Cups about? So somebody in your environment that you're dealing with has relationship on their mind. Commitment, higher level of commitment. This is taking it to the next level. This is halfway to marriage. This could be going from talking to seeing each other, from seeing each other to dating, dating to being in a relationship, relationship to engagement, engagement to marriage. And someone's showing their emotions. Someone's not afraid to uh, be emotional. So you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally available. Tell me more. Yeah, this person's emotionally available and they are letting their guard down. This person's been through something. Whoever is in your environment, you will know who it is. Uh, it could be a uh, water sign. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It doesn't have to be any of them, but I do see the energy here. But whoever this person is, um, they look like they're good to go. They are in a really good energy. Their guard is being let down. Now, they've been through some stuff before. And in the past, they were very guarded based off of the things that they've been through. This is a wounded warrior card. But they've released this. And it looks like they've got the right thing on their mind. they got commitment on their mind. And they're not afraid to show emotion. How does this person see you? This person sees you as retracting the offer, not necessarily coming towards them anymore. In the past, you were heading towards them with your cup of love, but they see you actually pulling away now. How does this person feel? How does this person feel about, about Sag? This person uh, feels that you bring them some type of healing. You bring a, a healing energy to them. You could be helping someone move on. You could be helping someone get back to their normal self. This also speaks of hope. This person is feeling hopeful towards you. How do you see this person? How does a viewer see this person? If you're a cross watcher, just place yourself where you belong in this uh, in this story. How does how does a viewer see this person? Uh, you could be a Cancer. It doesn't have to be. I also see Pisces here. I see Taurus. Um, I see Capricorn. The person sees you as moving forward. Moving uh, forward, you possibly could be moving away. But they see, they do see forward motion towards you. Now, it's not necessarily towards you or towards them, but they do see you actually doing uh, going forward motion, possibly blind forward motion, not necessarily knowing which direction you're going. Notice these two finxes are pointing in different directions. Which way is this chariot going? Who knows, but it's going forward. And let me see, and what's in the heart? What's in this person's heart? Who are we doing? We doing you or them? I don't remember. Let me see. Has this how you saw you saw you bring them hope? So okay, so this is how you how you. So what is in the viewer's heart towards this person? <laughs> All right. So what's in this person's heart? It looks like they're they're wanting to. Looks like they're keeping to themselves. They've been keeping to themselves, trying to uh, uh, figure themselves out with the hermit. It could be focusing on spirituality or, or finding spirituality. They could just be finding themselves. And they're also wanting to take fast action towards you. Now, being that they're in hermit mode, this could just be a want, not necessarily in action. They could just be sitting there uh, contemplating, wanting to take action towards you. What does this person not want the viewer to know? What is this person not telling the viewer? What this person is not telling you is that they've made a choice in love and it was not you. Looks like they've chosen someone else. Now, if they haven't chosen someone else, it's going to be different for everyone. It looks like they uh, can't make a decision or they're unwilling to make a decision. Lovers in reverse. In the upright, the lover speaks of... Can you see this? Well, there's a lover's card. So in the upright, the lover speaks of uh, a choice in love. 
or just choices, well, you know, depending on the type of reading that you're doing, but this, this is having choices. But your person either did not choose you or they're not making a choice. I feel like they didn't choose you. Tell me about the lovers in reverse, please. Gemini energy, tell me about the lovers in reverse. We got the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person could be wanting a commitment elsewhere with elsewhere than from you. Knight of Wands. So in the upright, this is taking fast action. This is uh, charging through with passion. Passionately charging through. In the reverse, this is non-committal. This is a player. What your person's possibly not telling you is that the reason they didn't chose you is because they just want to be free and do their own thing, not necessarily be bound or trapped to anyone. Possibly just wanting to go do non-committal things elsewhere. Fire energy, this is um, Sagittarian energy. This is uh, Gemini energy. And we have Virgo energy here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please, for the hopes and fears. What's Sagittarius hopes or fears? Um, this fell on the floor, but I will acknowledge it. Tell me about, if it's supposed to come back out, it will. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius hopes and fears. So Sagittarius, they want a, new, a turning point. They wanted something to change. Whatever this dynamic is, they're wanting to evolve and wanted to just start moving, come back around or come around altogether. And they could be fearing that possibly you're not wanting to put in the work. Or they possibly could be hoping that you will start to want to start to put in the work as to where in the past... You or your person could have been feeling, oh, is this even worth investing in? Should I put my time and energy in this? Is this going to go anywhere? In the up, in the reverse, this is seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Paired with the Will of Fortune, your person could be, or you could be hoping that your person is going to see the light in the tunnel. Being that they didn't choose you. You're hoping that they're seeing the light of the tunnel, of the tunnel, and it will bring them. I'm sorry, I had this. Oh no, okay, it is up, right? And that it will create a turning point and take you on to a new chapter. Uh, what's coming in for Sag? Uh, tell me about the hero fan. This speaks of commitment, um, agreements, contracts, religious factors. Uh, tell me about the hero fan for what's coming in for Sagittarius. Oh, that was half my deck. Tell me about the hero fan. Please clarify the hero fan. So what's coming in for you, uh, Sagittarius, it looks like you could be coming together with someone and uh, strategizing, coming together and, and, and coming up with a plan. This is, this is meeting in the meeting room and going to the drawing table and coming up with a plan. Coming to, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Collaboration. You could be collaboration, collaborating with someone. This could be in business and finance. This could be in love, but it looks like now there's a commitment here and this is the work. So you could be collaborating, collaborating with someone could be starting a business with someone. However, whatever this is, there's this is a commitment. This is this is going to be a, a, a structured agreement based off of this collaboration. You guys are going to come into a structured agreement. Let's see what this is about. What is this agreement going to be about? What's this agreement? I got a jumper. So you got the. It looks like somebody. Okay, so someone's going to feel. Someone's going to end up being feeling left out in the cold. You could be leaving someone out in the cold. You possibly could be going into a commitment with someone else and leaving someone else out in the cold. Tell me about the five of pinnacles, please. Yep. That's what's going on here. So look. Sag, it looks like that you do have a some type of commitment agreement, something you're working on. Um, you're going to end up leaving someone out in the cold to go and have a new beginning elsewhere. 
Ace of Cups, this is a passionate new beginning. This is from the hand of God. This is a fresh start. This is the fresh start that you're hoping for. Not necessarily with this person who didn't choose you. You could be going elsewhere towards someone else. You could be walking away from the person who didn't choose you and going towards your new beginning elsewhere. Because you do have a commitment here. For some of you guys, it could be this person. Tell me about, what's the outcome? So for the outcome, potential outcome, you have the Queen of Swords. Somebody could be getting cut off right here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords, please. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Yep, there it is. For your outcome, uh, Sagittarius, you are cutting someone off. Game over. This also speaks of transformation. When one thing ends, another thing begins. You're cutting someone off. Possibly could have be an air sign. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Also have Scorpio energy here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Doesn't have to be any of those. But the Wheel of Fortune, this turning point, this uh, transformation that you're hoping for, Sag, it looks like you are getting. Once you cut out whatever. Now, this could come after conversations. Being that it is a sword. There's, uh, there could be some conversations that lead to this, but it looks like there possibly could be some uh, sharp communication, but it's going to lead to you using this big ass sword right here. Cutting somebody off, you do have death in the upright. That's game over. Transformation onto the next thing, onto your new beginning. Onto your fresh, new, passionate new beginning elsewhere. That looks good. So while I clean these up, Sag, and see what sign you're dealing with, this will be the perfect opportunity if you want to use your free will to do so to like and subscribe maybe drop a comment and let me know what's going on and i'm gonna get these cards cleaned up for you real quick i am sorry um i don't have my other deck near me so i gotta use the same deck to do this usually i like to switch it up that way we don't miss any cards but we're gonna throw these back in here give you a good shuffle feel like uh the shadow is upon me please connect me to all 12 signs of the zodiac Please connect me to all 12 signs of the Zodiac, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements in love in regards to the current situation and the viewer watching right now. Please connect me to their energy. Please connect me to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. All right. Sag, if you're dealing with an Aries... Then with the Aries, um, they're holding on to past hurt where they felt backstabbed and betrayed in the past. They're holding on to that hurt. I need more time to figure things out. If you're dealing with a Leo, you could be coming together. It's social times. Possibly going out for drinks, going out for dinner, lunch. This could be a date. Um, finally, feeling the consequences of my actions. If you're dealing with a fellow Sagittarius, Sagittarian energy. Uh, this person's feeling very confident and grounded. I can't seem to find the words to say to you right now. If you're dealing with a Cancer... There, uh, there's some type of toxicity. The, the whole connection could be toxic. Um, there could be codependency. You could be feeling trapped and bound to this person. You can't release this person or vice versa. They can't release you. But I'm in a much better headspace now. Uh, oh, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, jump the gun. Dealing with a Scorpio, there could be some type of truths or unknown being exposed or coming to light. You could be figuring something out about this person. Something coming clear that wasn't clear in the past. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this connection could be growing, starting to grow. There could be um, this is a mother. This is possibly the mother. If you like a, a baby mama or. This is the mother of the, the child, but something is growing with this person, or you could be the mother. It doesn't have to be children involved, but this is, yeah. Um, it's easier just to stay away right now. 
If you're dealing with a Virgo, blocks communication. There's no communication between you guys. My heart is telling me just to do it. They could be reaching out. If you're dealing with the Taurus. Uh, your Taurus. If you're dealing with the Taurus, your Taurus could be in the energy of. Uh, I see two different stories here. Your person could be in the energy of wanting to do their own thing, not be tied down, single, independent, playa, playa. And I see for some of you guys, uh, this person isn't wanting to be a player anymore. They want to do the, the right thing and finally commit. I'm reminded of you constantly. Uh, if you're dealing with the Capricorn, the Capricorn's taking a break. They're doing some serious thinking. They're trying to figure some things out. Our connection still affects me. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you're going to have some type of breakthrough and clarity coming in. You've been in my dreams. If you're dealing with a Gemini, your Gemini is feeling confident, uh, grounded, feeling secure. They're, uh, they're in their power. Your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. And if you're dealing with the Libra, you guys are going to be coming out of conflict. Uh, petty arguing, all that's going to come to an end. Because you are an angel. So Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you're returning, uh, a returning viewer, thank you for returning. And please like, share, subscribe. Let me know if it resonated how it resonates and all that other good stuff. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.